What's up guys? This is the Braveman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Let's Play Empire Total War Darth mod as the Knights of St. John. So to round off where we left off, um, I am still suffering from everyone declaring war on me. So I'm now at war with what well, I was previously at war with Venice, as you'll remember from the last part where we defended multiple sieges. Um, but I'm also at war with Spain as well as Genoa. So Fabrizio Minicello. You've got a lot of crap heading your way. So they've got a gun. Um, lots of mediocre troops trying to make an assault, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, our troops have got some replenishment in. I would like to try and use my cavalry to try and isolate and take out their unit of Sakers, but I doubt I'll have that chance. Um, but let's fight. So, my suspicion is they will, well, they will eventually be able to make a breach, but whether or not they will choose to actually attack it is another question because you've seen before they are quite happy to kind of sit at range and just plank with their one gun if they don't think they can attack we've got a unit of mortars the enemy will try to smash them and i will do a similar thing to what i've done before just deploy them straight up front let's position some of these weaker units in to place stakes and then let's deploy start deploying these men so let's get everyone off the walls i should really have done this prior i'm about to go and stop discord because this could get messy so one second guys be right back apologies for that so Let's group these together as they're already deployed. And let's position our troops. So there's going to be a certain amount of shooting that will have to be done by some of our guys on the walls. Hopefully, uh, we will be able to hold them off for much longer. Well, hopefully, we'll be able to stop them from even getting up the walls, but. In the event that that's not possible, we must be ready. I'm deploying these stakes so they make a... They don't make a full line, but they should make a... If they charge forward, they can't get around any of these units. So even though they're not a full wall in theory, they're a full wall in practice. Keep our cavalry outside. General can go inside. Let's get busy. Okay, so let's bring my pikes back here. My militia can take up a position without fire at will. Same with my regiment foot. And these guys can just hold on. I'm not sure what my mortars are shooting at. But whatever they're shooting at, I doubt they're going to hit anything. But these are some good hits. And it looks like the cavalry are running in to take out our mortars, which might actually be a good thing. If we can lure in as much of, our, of their cavalry as possible. That's actually going to be quite good. Because then our chaps above the walls should get lots of good shots off against said artillery. Said, said cavalry. That means our cavalry at the back may end up being able to provide some good attacks against their artillery. Cavalry is wavering, but even if they do route, they'll probably not route completely because they've lost very few of their own men. The reason why I deploy my mortars outside the walls is because in various other battles, these mortars, if I deploy them back here, the ROE is so poor they will rain shells down onto my own walls and cause morale problems for my own men in quite a significant way. So I'm not going to want my the mortars to fire at their intended targets from the safety of my walls. And especially as they're a garrison unit, I don't feel any compunction to keep them. So these Western European mercenaries are going to gun down my mortar crews. How dare they? I 
at the very least, their main job is to keep is to keep their gunners, is to keep their infantry occupied at the base of the fort. So in comes their cavalry. If we can get some good kills on their regiment, of course. Prior to engaging our regiment, of course. Should even the scores somewhat. So they're down to 81 men, but they are tired. We are fresh. It's 81 versus 76. It's pretty even, but they're fresh. No experience. We have two chevrons, so we should have the edge. In raw, in raw um, combat fighting skills. Looks like they also want the infantry wants to join the battle with the cavalry around the rear because they're continuing to run around. So let's try and get some guys up on the walls waiting for them. The other cavalry is going to join them, so ideally we will win this fight quickly. absolutely want to deploy our pikemen out here. Although the gate is already open. Let's move our general out of safety. Because our cavalry is doing good. It's doing well. This militia regiment should be routed. These pikemen cannot actually fight. So they will get slaughtered. this is why their pikemen are charging around because it's their only real use so we have conscripts routed absolutely get our pikes into this because their pikes are not yep they've been routed so I'm not concerned about them but I do want my pikes to get involved into this fight. So I want the door to open. Because they're all stacked up on it, waiting. But stupid door mechanics and empire. Right, look, they're here. My cavalry's routed. They clearly want to leave. Now they're there. Okay, good. Get him, Pikes. Was their pikemen I sat out here, taking lots of fire from my men. These guys up on the walls should be able to provide, provide quite good firepower into the cavalry rather than my pikes, considering the small amount of area my pikes occupy. These guys should be getting shots from the walls. Everyone's starting to come back. They're out to engage the large unit with pikemen. Although they too will rout. Cavalry is focusing on this section of the wall because that's the piece of the wall I currently occupy. Get my guys to swarm this mercenary unit to made it up to the top of the walls. Let's see, for some reason the door's shut as well. So they're fairly safe back here, though. Let's put the speed up a little bit. So I'm going to lose some guys to this section of the wall, unfortunately, due to the melee combat. My pikes have routed the cavalry. So let's get them back inside. Although it looks like the AI wants to be funny about doing that. Get 
these guys to man the positions on the wall again. Okay, let's position this, these, this unit like so to minimise loss of men to the collapse of the wall. Deploy my pikes here. It's clear they are, they will want to breach. And we will be getting swarmed by a whole bunch of troops. So I want those guys to take up position there, I want my militia up on the wall. Yep, so there's the there's the breach they would des they desire. So they now have roots in. They're probably going to aim at this section of the wall now. Or they may continue to try and kill this particular unit. Which guys don't know who they're going to look at, who they're going to shoot at. Got a section of conscripts advancing into the gate, but they've been repulsed. Let's triple speed this because they've got a way in now, so they should start to make their way in. And luckily, it looks like their crews are not firing, so they're bugged. Which means our gunners up here will have free reign to a certain degree. It looks like their mercenaries are coming in, as is the unit of militia. These guys seem destined to forever be bugged because of the guys at the bottom of the wall. Even though these guys are throwing grappling irons, what usually happens is they throw the irons and then they run into the breach. My militia, are, my pikes are solely here to prevent them from charging this way. I'm not looking to massacre them as much as I would normally if I had fire by rank and stuff. Um, I'm just looking to provide a robust defence. But it looks like after those two waves, the AI is probably not going to launch any more attacks. So if I run you guys down here, those guys are definitely stuck. Here they come again. One's going to go around the flank and be engaged by the Mighty Eighth and be cut down. And the second regiment has been repulsed. Um, but it remains to be seen what happens with the re remaining troops. So we are firing some cannons down here and some back here. But yes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the recording and bring you guys back if something different happens rather than units coming back and trying to, you know, fragments coming back. So just one second, guys. I'll see you in a second. Rightio guys, and we're back. I decided not to attack, so I decided I would take the free kills given from given from the opportunity to just keep firing my castle guns at them. So that's that. End battle. Heroic victory. And I've had a bit of a revelation. So, obviously we repulsed an attack this turn. We have very, very many enemies. Among which is the um, well, the Barbary States, who have blockaded us with a. They got a Jebek and we've got a Brig. How many guns? Firepower two hundred and eight, and it's damaged. Yeah, I still fancy your chances. So firstly, this area of control does forbid us from manoeuvring in this area, but my idea, were it possible, would be to trade Rome, because right now it's not giving me any money, and I may as well try to get some from it, especially as we're already at war. It is tempting 
to trade Rome for um, with another faction to try and seek peace. So then this army teleports back to Malta for free. I spend a few turns retraining. Then now Spain is at war with me, and I'm not at war with France. So this could be my opportunity to then fire it towards Madrid. Trouble is, who do I make peace with? Because right now the Barbary states are annoying. Um, but this British army here is a real... Even though they're sat there not doing anything, that... Ah, is quite frustrating. So it'd be tempting to give Rome to Britain. Because I don't think I've got much of an option here. I need to dismantle you. If I'm not going to spend money in this area, I want to make sure I'm not investing in it. I think Britain might go for it. So I'm going to request peace. I'm going to offer Central Italy as my offering. Nope, they don't want it. Well then, Barbary States. Peace. And I'll offer you Rome. Okay, so I can't make peace with a friendly nation because of it. So what if I gave it, gave it to Genoa? Don't want an alliance. Okay, what about Venice? Peace. And I'll give you Central Italy. Okay, so my plan hasn't really worked, but this is why I try and give it to a third party, such as Prussia. <gasps> Ooh, I'll offer Italy for, tentatively, these two guys. No. Okay, the Mughals are usually quite accommodating, so if I give you Central Italy, fine, I'll, I'll try and take these two. No. Fair enough. Um, what about the Marathas? They maybe might just try and go for one tech. And that tech would probably be... Probably square? Okay, you don't want to do that. Uh, France. Offer. I think it might be because it's... Maybe because it's rebelling. Why does no one want my highly rebellious region off of me? Um, what about the, well, the Native American factions? Don't have any tech. Uh, what about New Spain? I have Central Italy and. Okay. Maybe I'll try and get it for cash. I don't even mind getting giving it away for cheap. It's just trying to get something from it. I need to give the region away. Well, at well, worst, I'll get, I will give it away because I want to teleport my army back to back to Malta. Man, the trouble is trying to give it to the right person. one square very well um, I might just I'm tempted to just try and just give it to Britain to try and embroil them in a war in central Italy maybe no they didn't even want it okay Austria tech square I can't even I can't even give it away. Not even for pe not even just for peace. Like you can have it. Don't even declare war with me. Don't you? You can stay at war if you like. Just have it. Uh, God, what is Russia? I'm literally trying to give away a region. I presume it's because they are rebelling. But I can't just give it away. Maybe if I just exempt them from tax. Nope. It looks like for now I have to hold on to it. But I can't. Okay, let's 
as not as as not good as light galleys are, I might just need to build some to help fend off the Barbary states. Yep, the Brits don't know what they're doing. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's fine. Whew. But my hope would be to try and get a straight shot into into uh, Madrid. It would be a very ugly battle, and I'd probably just sit there and just absolutely not attack, just grind them down from a, from a distance. Mainly because I've not got... <laughs> I mean, I'm going to... I'm going to fight it just because you know how these battles work. You know how the AI works for small fights. Um, I might even deploy outside of the walls, actually. No, I'll deploy inside. Um, but you know how the AI likes to punish auto resolves. And it causes me to have more casualties than I would, than I would absolutely would have taken myself. So, don't have to be smart, just get people on the walls. They got a gun, but most of their units will be dead before they get in. Just in case, actually. Maybe leave me another infantry unit. Maybe the fact I kept killing all of my Morty units kind of gave them a clue. I don't like... Okay, good. So what I didn't like was the fact that I could, from here, see daylight. <laughs> it made me check, and there is a slit, actually. Just fight them, and just let my cannons go to town on them. They got one gun, so it'll take absolutely ages to get through. Their infantry is going to get repelled as soon as it gets anywhere near the wall. And then that'll be that. Because Venice really wants the capital. It really wants Rome. But it's impressive they've not immediately fallen back. It looks like, well, to be honest, it looks like a bunch of our militia. There they go. I was about to say they weren't actually engaging. Yeah, just attack them. You guys hold what you're doing. You just shot a bunch of, well, fortunately only eight guys in the back. You guys go after the militia. Okay. So let's do Go Go Gadget Pikemen because they've got just cavalry and not much of it left as it is. So just an unknown advance, just my, just my pikemen up there. I'm going to run them to get them out of the castle because it takes forever. And then we can advance up. Let's take him out, let's take him out, let's take him out. Probably would be worth turning these guys off of fire at will. Just get them to counter charge this cavalry unit. One guy went absolutely flying. Three men left. Eh, just run past him then. Form the spare wall, lads. So I am sac somewhat sacrificing my pikes here to get a somewhat easier and faster battle. Trouble is, pike wall doesn't move. I think it doesn't move. And so we'll study, guys. Which isn't the end of the world. Especially not for the fact that I'm, well, I'm not going to sit here, obviously, and just uh, fight the same battle for the fifth time in a row. Good. <laughs> close victory. I should hope it wasn't close. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, see, so we did lose more men, but I suspect the AI would have probably done an even worse job. 
trip is I don't want to send my men. I don't like. I need to get my men to either teleport back here, or, well, teleporting them back is the only safe option, really. Italian rebels are coming back. They're somewhat getting used to us. Here again, someone's got a mistress. And there's a Zebek back there. So he's very damaged. I can't. Are you not. Okay, it's because you're negative. Okay, let's move an infantry unit into the fort. Do I risk sending just a brig against a Zebek? Zebek, the notion he has more firepower. Less hull strength. Because if I do it, it's giving me it's an option to potentially open my port, and I'm probably going to die fairly soon if I don't do it. So. Oh no, apparently the odds are really against me. Don't do that. Okay, so let's try and deal with the troop shortfall by doing. by the budget shortfall by doing some merging even if I end up losing a unit it's probably preferable to do that I mean even that is, is probably what it should have well I suppose it technically hasn't done anything because I've only I've still got the same number of units or I've raised well it's the same number of troops You're very experienced, but you'll have to go. Yeah, if, I that, if I can do that and just kill the rebels, good. So I've killed the rebels, they've chilled out. I could actually tax my guys and actually be slightly in surplus, allowing me to try to build some light galleys, which are rubbish. But I need to start. If I can't get quality, I'm going to have to get numbers. Maybe try one more. Now they're, now they're happy with me. No, not payments. For peace. Well, because my hope was that the fact we are currently... They're now a happy region. They might be more inclined to take it. So if I just say, okay, you can have Central Italy, but I want peace. Yeah, but for whatever reason, they won't give it to me. And unfortunately, I cannot shift my capital. Because if I shifted my capital, this problem well, doesn't go away. Because I've still got Venetian troops in port. But let's hit end turn. If anything, the we might well we might have to just keep Rome. A, a a good an easy quick shot would be to go down and take Naples. But that requires the creation of more troops I can't currently fund. Because my nation is poor. And the Venetians are coming back. And I'm at war with everyone, so <laughs> I haven't got the cash. Yes, Corland. Oh, no, Corland. My only hope is the Barbary states get absolutely decked by someone. Or they make peace with me, which it doesn't seem like they want to do. Because they seem to be ruling the seas. So even if I could make money, it's still very limited. Naples is actually worth a lot more and they get a fairly good garrison so if I went for it I'd have to be very quick yeah, just try and replenish the best you can you're making 300 quid a pop probably going to have to disband these guys no one's attacking me at the minute so it's probably worthwhile at least at the very least it means I can try and build some units up here So you still can't research and tech so I haven't built the school here I'm probably not going to be able to build it for a long time let's hit enter we 
mean, Britain's bugging out big time. Well, if they won't let me... <laughs> I literally can't give Rome away. And they they already... Um, you know, think how many countries declared war on me because of Rome. And I just went, fine, have it. And they went, we don't want Rome. <laughs> think how dumb that is. Like, even when I wasn't even asking for anything, I wasn't asking for peace or money or tech, I just said, here, just have the region. And they went, no. Every once, 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 and ask, why? Go on, Colin, take him out. Colin's on the way. And the one at my port, yes! Oh, We're getting money this turn. How novel. I mean, yeah, they're going to start blockading my, raiding my trade re trade zones, but money, money. Okay. I mean, I don't want light galleys, they're pants. But if I send this light galley out, I might better raid, raid their ports. No, nope, can't raid you. You're producing light galleys as well. See, there's a very small window I can safely get in and out of my port. No! Why did they not? Okay. Oh, withdraw. So even though there is an area of their control zone that my ships can sail past, they still went through it. GG, light galley. We knew you well. I can't upgrade... I can't upgrade my ports. I've not got the, the capacity. To be honest, it might even be worth because right now Rome's worth pretty much nothing to me. So I think it's probably worth just abandoning it to its fate. Even then, I, would, I don't lose it. Well, I probably will lose it. And then again, it is a major manufacturing area for equipment. I'm have to build something like another unit of infantry. I'm going to need to keep some kind of garrison here. Because if I take Rome, if I take Naples, I'm going to lose the capacity to generate troops on the continent that isn't militia. Britain fancied it, but then changed their minds. Ha! Ah, the French are going to go clear out the Barbary States. Um, yeah, so if I went to Naples, I wouldn't be able to create line infantry or artillery. I would be limited to just um, militia, which is I'm already suffering or will. Well, if I'm not already suffering, I will be suffering from the fact that I have no technology. And I can't build a school because it's not safe, but I could build one in Naples. I could. Which is, isn't my isn't ideal, but you know, at the very least, Naples is earning me money. But it's it's harder to defend. So I could build a, a school in Sicily. Because it looks like Venice is already regrouping for another attack. Go on, Corland. Clear him out. Yeah, that seems about right. Let's see if my galley can kill anything, though. No, but they weren't captured. They're not dead, actually. I mean, they will be soon. Yeah. They're chasing them down. <laughs> Naples might even have a better port than the one I've got in my capital. Maybe. Depends if they've invested in it at all. Don't, don't do it. Good. Yeah, it very much depends on the level of investment. So our port was blockaded and then it was unblockaded. So Naples has got... It's just the one down here that's not currently built, but I'll turn that into a naval port to try and generate some ships. But then again, this guy is going to be the problem. The fleet was destroyed and that's okay. Okay, the name of the game is to keep... Let's repair the cannon foundry. 
I think. I can't remember what the bonus is for what the difference is how I increase my garrison. I think it might be resistance to occupation, maybe. Um, but let's get some two units of cavalry. Because I'm going to want to go down there, take Naples as quickly as I can, and then come straight back to Rome. I mean, they could still just run around me and hit Naples, but... You know, you've got to try the the peace game. <laughs> um, okay. I mean, I could, like I said, I could build the vineyards, but well, there might be a fairly safe upgrade now because you're this side of me. I don't want to upgrade these guys, really. Well, I don't know. It depends how... It depends if Venice wants to raid me. It's probably worth doing at least a bit. It'll already earn me a lot of cash. Um... But looking at the time, I think it's time to end the part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.